Today we're looking at the new NQI Sport electric scooter or the N Sport as the name changed uh, this year to NQI but it's still the same bike. Um, I had this electric scooter for over a year now and I drove over 11,000 kilometers as of now. So I want to share my impressions, uh, what I like, what I dislike about this bike and also uh, go over the app and compare it to the smaller bikes of the same company. I will not go over in detail into the specs and facts of this bike because you can find them all on the website of the manufacturer. One thing that's worth mentioning is that the NQI comes in three different variants, the light, the sport and the pro. And the main differences between the three will be on the power of the motor and also uh, the capacity of the batteries and the number of batteries since the pro comes with two batteries. One last point before we start, New is a Chinese company and I bought my scooter in China and I use it here in China since over a year. So don't be surprised if some of the parts in the app that I use will be in Chinese and also the driving shots will be in China obviously. But if you buy it in Europe or in America, the product should be the same. The only difference that you might have is if there's any country regulations, the top speed might be different and this is uh, programmed into the electronic control unit, but the bike should be the same. So what's my opinion on this bike? I think for the price, it's great. Here in China, I bought it for 6,200 yuan, which is the equivalent of 885 US dollars or 755 euros. Uh, I bought it at the dealership of new and I bought it new. Uh, it's surely more expensive in Europe or America, but let's see what you get for that price because I think it's impressive and I think it's packed with nice features, especially if you compare it to an electric bicycle, which can be in the same price range. So for this price, you get a scooter with front and rear disc brakes, a dash with battery speed and power indication. You get front and rear suspension, Three different riding modes, uh, you have headlights with low beam, high beam and automatic lights. Um, you get rear lights, turn signal, horn and two electronic keys. So these points are uh, quite standard what you would expect from, from a scooter, but you also get some nice extra features. For example, you have the turn signals are self-canceling, so when you finish your turn, the turn signals will stop uh, automatically. You also have cruise control, which is very nice for long straight lines, and I never had this on a motorcycle before. There's an integrated alarm system, so you receive an alert on your phone when the bike detects any kind of vibration, or there's different kinds of alerts you can receive. Uh, for example, my bike fell one night because it was extremely windy, and I received a notification on my phone saying that the lean angle of the bike is abnormal. So this is connected through GPS. Um, you also have the GPS system, which uh, always locates the bike and you can see on your phone uh, the location of your, of your scooter. And you have a USB uh, charging port on the front of the bike as well. There are other small things that I like. So you have two stands, you have a side stand and you have a center stand, which uh, lifts the rear wheel. There's a lot of storage under the seat, which is quite useful as well. The battery is removable and you have a possibility to use two batteries. So we mentioned that there's a lot of storage space under the seat. If you don't use that space for a second battery, there's a lot of things you can fit under the seat. Typically, this is what I have under the seat. So on the left side, the battery charger, there's a lock, an extension cord, a rain poncho, first aid kit. There's a repair kit for the tires along with a pump and a tire gauge. Uh, just some baby wipes and some rags to clean the scooter and some masks for pollution or for any kind of virus prevention. On the main page of the app, you will find the percentage of battery remaining, the range, GPS signal and your pass routes. You also have uh, your statistics of riding, so you can look at them on a daily basis, weekly basis or monthly basis, so your riding distance, riding time, max speed and average speed. You can also do a smart check of your bike, so I speed it up here, um, so it will self-test to see if there's anything abnormal. And you'll find the shop part of the app where you can buy accessories for the bike. As for the things that I don't like or that could be a little bit better on this electric scooter, 
I would say first the suspension it definitely works but you can feel the cracks and the bumps on the road so it's not a high-end uh, quality suspension also the brakes they do work but the bike is quite heavy so and there's no ABS and you would expect them to be a little bit more responsive a little bit more powerful so what's my final verdict on this electric scooter I would say it's pretty good I had it for a year now and I drove it every single day to go to work I didn't have any repairs or any maintenance to do so it's quite reliable good quality of course the brakes and suspension could be a little bit better um, but the price of the bike was very cheap and I can charge it for free at home and at work so that's definitely a plus over using a car and also it goes through traffic a little bit faster then if it's a bike for you or not, it really depends uh, of your situation, how far you live from work, how you want to use it, if you live downtown and so on. Um, also how much it costs in your country because the price can be a little bit different. So it's worth uh, comparing it to other manufacturers out there and it's worth uh, giving it a test drive to see, to see if you like it or not. Now to compare this bike to other ones from the same manufacturer, before this one I had for a few months the U Plus Sport, which is now renamed to UQI. Uh, also a great bike, it was uh, very nimble, very light, very nice to maneuver, uh, but it was uh, slower, so that's the reason why I changed it for the, for the N series. Also if you compare to the um, NGT, so the NGT is uh, quite similar to, to the NQI, but it will be faster. Uh, but it will also be three times more expensive so you'll have a different motor you'll have two batteries and so on but up to you to compare the specs of uh, all these bikes to see which one could be the best for you